Hi. My name's Dan. I'm recording uh, a review for uh, Drone Mask 2 on behalf of DroneBlog.com. Uh, Drone Mask 2 is a unique little product uh, designed for working with your with your typical line of sight fly drone, your DJI mini type type drones. And you can put your phone in uh, and you can still access the screen, uh, tap around. It boasts some really nice optics uh, in the front, uh, whereas typical other sort of goggles, you've got kind of got individual lenses and or even just an open screen. This has got nice lenses uh, that are really wide and don't interfere with your eyes or anything. Uh, it's got nice focusing adjustment on the bottom. Uh, and like I said, nice access to get into the into the phone, which I'll come on back, back onto, and it even integrates uh, a little AR window that you can pop open and you can put your camera from your phone in there so you can integrate some, uh, some AR goodies. So what do I like about this? I really like the weight of it. It's nice and lightweight, doesn't feel heavy on your head. It's got a good solid strap. You could probably get away without having a, a top strap on it as well. Uh, then there's the, uh, the optics again, like I mentioned, nice and easy to focus in with the adjustments that they have. Uh, I don't need glasses, so I don't know what it's like with glasses. I also like the, um, the fact that with, you've got the AR, that's a winner for me, I think, in terms of future-proofing it, making it a product that you could use uh, outside of drone use. Um, that's for sort of using mobile VR and mobile AR. Uh, technologies. So on to some of the things that I don't really like. So the it's a minor one but there's the uh, fitting around the eye. So generally pretty straightforward to fix. You just make the padding thicker. With my narrow sort of middle of my head I find that the the padding it just needs a little bit more pushing in at the sides but that's quite an adjustment. It's just a velcro velcroed on uh, piece of, of foam. Uh, actually, it's nice. It's nice than that. It's nice. Uh, the nice fabric uh, on there. Very comfortable to wear. Uh, the other thing I don't like is that phone space. So if you've got a, I did a lot of this this review with a Samsung S22, and that fit in. That fits in quite well. There's a lot, a lot of space uh, for that and the cable to fit in without any real stress on the cable or the phone. I did try it with a, an older phone I had, which is a bigger a bigger screen and I found I could just get it in. So if you're, you know, if your phone's bigger than a sort of 6.5, 6.6 6 inch diagonal display, then it's gonna probably struggle to fit in here. That being said, it, it, you know, once you've got it in, it's fine. The cable comes outside the zip, which I thought would be better if they had um, an actual hole for it to come out of. Uh, and then uh, that, that would be much better. However, that being said, it worked fine. Didn't get any light leakage when the cable was sticking outside the zip, uh, and that was okay. The other thing that I thought could be improved is the slots for your hands to go in. So, firstly, it's quite small. I have small hands anyway, and getting my hand in there and trying to tap around was a bit cumbersome, to say the least. Uh, and I also like the fact that it's kind of one... It's, it's on both sides, but you can't use one hand to do both sides. So if, if you're holding your controller, for example, and you put your hand in one side to do this thing, you've then got to swap your hands over, reach in the other side to tap the screen. So I wasn't a huge fan of that, uh, but it's okay. It works fine. It does, it does the job. If you need to tap the screen, that's fine. Otherwise, you know, there's a lot of things like controlling, cont controlling the drone. Uh, obviously not with the screen uh, that you can do. So if you've got everything set up beforehand, that's fine. Again, a similar thing, like I'm an FPV drone pilot typically, and I'm used to wearing goggles of different styles. I've worn countless different pairs. However, there's always a bit of faff, and this is no exception. There is always a bit of faff. So, you know, you've got to get your phone in there, set the cable up, open the app, connect your drone up, then you go up, take off, and then you've got to do everything while sort of within the screen. Um, I guess you could set it all up on the cable or just on a table in front of you, but that's if you've got that space uh, available. It's I've, I've much preferred actually find my Mini 2 just line of sight. Um, I could see fine with my screen. And I, for that reason, I don't necessarily see a point in this type of goggle setup, uh, particularly with 
those types of camera drones like the DJI Mini, for example, the camera itself doesn't have a massive field of view. So you end up actually just looking out um, into quite a narrow frame. So as you're flying around, you don't really have much peripheral view, which is whereas with other FPV drones and things that are flown, you have a much wider field of view from the perspective of the, of the, the video feed from the, from the drone. So you can kind of have a bit more spatial awareness than you would uh, flying a, a DJI drone with this type of setup. But that being said, um, I think I'll find myself using it for more outside of drone stuff, you know, using the AR, using it as sort of a VR tool. Um, so I think if you're someone who's interested in the sort of bigger purpose, well, the, the other applications of this, not just for drones, if you're buying it just for a DJI drone and to have a bit of play with, that's fine. But I wouldn't recommend it for, for that necessarily, unless you really feel like you're using it a lot. Uh, but if you want to try it, you know, buy it and try it for for using with VR and AR stuff, I think it's a really nice goggle. Um, in terms of uh, in terms of the the setup here, but it's not. Uh, it's not like the best for the money you pay for this. I think I would probably save my money and put it into other things for for my drones, like I don't ND filters or more batteries. Um, I wouldn't necessarily go out and buy this today, but I do. I do like the fit and finish. The color works well with the drone. Um, it all looks, you know, especially with DJI drones, it all looks um, like a nice piece of kit. Uh, everything sort of velcroed in as well. So if you want to take the little shutters out, if you don't like those, the little flaps, you can do that. If you want to take the AR piece out, you can do that. Uh, similarly, if you want to take out and change the foam around the front, you can do that. But it would be nice to have a more easily removable strap. You can, there is a notch in here, so you can take it off. Um, but it would be nice to kind of modify this or have it sort of somewhat semi-attached to the back so you can run it without the top piece. So I don't feel like you necessarily need that. Uh, but then again, you might, depending on the shape of your head. So with that, I think I'll probably sum it up there. It's, it's been fun to use. Uh, I did try it in FPV mode as well on the DJI Mini 2, but that's a whole other experience and not something I enjoyed. But for just viewing what you want to see and being able to, if you use it for photos and things, it's probably quite nice to have as a second, as a sort of thing to look at and look at your photos through to really pick out all the detail. But I think for most video stuff, if you're filming with a drone, being able to see it and being able to kind of compare that, you know, have that relative those relative frames so you can see the the screen on when you when you fly and you can see the drone line of sight so you get that good bearing of a the speed you're sort of filming at what you're close to uh the framing of the shot i feel is a bit easier to do with that because you have a better idea of where the drone is and what you're going to be coming past uh, so you can kind of tweak the, the set the the drone accordingly but i had a bit good bit of fun with the drone mass but i don't think I'll be going out and buying one.